All right, so let's start talking about equations here. So we're going to ease into it a little differently than you've done it before. And it's going to seem a little counterintuitive at first, but let's talk about, again, a real world application. So in life, you'll often have a formula, and you just want to see if one particular number is a solution for that formula. Uh, you can use the ideas that we're going to be talking about today to guess and check to see if you can find a solution to something that you might not otherwise be able to understand. So for example, let's say that you have $75 a month budgeted to pay your monthly phone bill. Like for example, that's your allowance or it's making $75 a month from a job that you have or whatever reason. You have $75 a month to pay your phone bill. Your phone bill is 40 bucks per month and that includes a certain number of gigabytes, but if you go over, it's $15 per extra gigabyte. So in that case, you wanna know, can you use three gigabytes? So an example of this as an equation would be 3 times 15 plus 40. If 3 times 15 plus 40 is less than 75, the answer is yes. If it's more than 75, the answer is no. So this is one way to check to see if 3 is a solution to this situation. And one way that we could write that, it would be with algebra. But just really quickly here, if you have $75 a month to spend, and you end up doing three gigabytes over, do you have enough money for that? Well, three times 15 would be 45. 45 plus 40 would make it 85, which is more than your 75. So no, you can't go three gigabytes over. You need to make sure that you're only going at most two gigabytes above your, your uh, plan limit. So that would be the why or why not. Uh, if anybody's ever encountered a cell phone overage, they don't, they don't charge you in portions of gigabytes. Or if you have an unlimited plan, you get your data throttled as soon as you hit that threshold. So be wary of that. Let's look at a non-word problem example here. So if I have an equation that is 0 0.5 times x plus 4 is equal to 12, I want to know is x equal to 16 a solution to that, yes or no? So you could solve this equation, and I'm sure many of you remember how to solve it from last year, because you, you've covered this before. But I want to check to see specifically, is 16 a solution to that? So I'm going to take 16 and put it in where x goes, and then use the order of operations. So if I put 16 where x goes, I'm doing 0 0.5 times 16, whatever that is, plus 4. And I want to see, is that equal to 12? So using the order of operations, 0 0.5 times 16 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, and that's equal to 12, so yes, it's a solution. And that's kind of how we're going to be approaching equations today. In the next chapter, we're going to go a lot more in-depth with equations, which I know is probably still going to be a bit of a review for you guys, but we'll be covering it a bit more in-depth than you covered it last year. So there we go. Uh, a little bit of an intro to equations here. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. The assignment for this is in the algebra bin in the back of the room. I think it's titled 1-8, um, but it's, it's really less in, I think this is less than 5? Good lord, who knows? <laughs> Feel free to ask me if you're confused. Uh, yeah, have a great day.